Welcome, welcome, one and all, to the uh, first annual Night Pendant Cup. This is round two, where we have uh, our first match of round two. We have McMcGurk versus Temple. So welcome, I'm Crimson Green. I'm joined here by Charging Charles. Go hey, ahead everyone. and introduce uh, yourself, say something. I'm Charging Charles. Uh, it's looking like, if I recall seeding correctly, I believe this is the seed versus the fifth seed so in terms of just uh, overall rankings all that this is the kind of one of the highest hyped match of the tournament so far oh yes yeah mick 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 gurk you don't hear me stutter in there mick mick gurk is the four seed temple's the five seed mick gurk taking a slug tax slug down in the first round and temple coming by way of taking pepper crab down so it should be a pretty good race here and of course the uh, flags are Dr. Saturn's Choice, which is um, four sanctuaries, no Gygus, but you have to defeat, um, have to defeat Magic Ants. Uh, Ness's Nightmare via Magic Ant. So once they defeat the four sanctuaries, they get Magic Ant. Um, that includes a bridge dungeons, that includes um, return mice, so there's not exit mice, there's return mice like they work in. Um, like they work in ancient cave, but also they limit the amount, so you can't just go back and get more. So that that's that puts a unique twist in. And then for round two, the flags we're gonna have ten loose key items, so you can find a key item either in logic or out of a logic in any box. And we also threw in random enemy movements, so you could see things like uh, teleporting bear. So bears coming in and out like the starmen do. So. It's gonna be a gonna be an interesting seed, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to tell them we're gonna start. The uh, at least some of the hitches here with these uh, interest uh, these new flag sets for this round too. The ten loose key items is I think gonna be the, the biggest wild card that we will see all tournament. Um, you know, normally the the top tier racers don't deviate much for presents. And so there's gonna be some some calculated risks where hey I'm gonna go off track, but if I can find something that might open up a, a sank without having to do the mines, or you know you might get uh, you know avoid a Tessie ride or something just to to, to avoid a longer check, uh, that would be a, a huge benefit to our runners. Indeed. So it looks like Big Gurk is off first. We're starting in Onet. What a coincidence, Temple also starts in Onet. Imagine that. So I'm going to sync these guys up so we can see in real time where they're at. We can That's see Temple shape. is slightly ahead at this point by seconds. And we get a police badge. So that opens up a lot in Onet. That's, that's going to open up a ton. Two teleports plus an item, as well as just already having two additional teleports currently, plus the Frank item. Uh, so there's... Oh, and a oh, loose Franklin badge. a Franklin badge. badge. Ooh -hoo. This, this seed could not be any friendlier right now. No, it can't. And they're going to get a kid check because they got Delam early as well. I would assume that... Um, both, yeah, both runners knew Delam almost immediately. Uh, what was the yep. third option? Uh, I did not see, but looks like McGurk is going to uh, go check some more trash cans. See what he can it's find doing trash digging. Yo yo is useful for killing time. A UFO engine there on Temple's side. And um, Temple also finding a UFO engine, so if he can get to uh, if he can get to three, he'll be able to go up into uh, Summers from there. Gurk with an insta kill on the shark, so the shark scale is quite low at this point. But if I were Gurk, yep. I would probably head to Delam just to get that kid check. Third yep. teleport yep. option is too soon, which is going to give him immediate mice. Uh, are they going to remember to do that? Either way, yeah. They can either get the mice the normal way once they beat the cops, or, uh, you know, the old fashioned way by just uh, going up there too soon. Taking uh, Jeff, I haven't seen. Look, okay, yeah, Jeff is scaled quite low. Uh, I, I did a, a practice the seed. There you go. I did a, a practice seed 
today where I started off in Dalam and I picked up the a kid check. It was Paula, but she came to me at level 22. Wow. I was, you know, Jeff is coming to, I think, at, at you know, level one or two, whatever the, the most basic is. There are 30 PP or HP. But, uh, you know, not not generous, but it's going to be some some help if they do that early, uh, early Frank Indeed. play. Looks like Girk's diving for some items. Found the Hypno Watch, which is a uh, added item for Jeff since the Doctor Saturn we're using also using PSI Extended, which means Jeff gets some extra items and uh, potentially. Uh, some of the kids could have bottle rockets as a PSI, which is a game changer if you get it. Yeah, as you see, uh, you know, I've been doing the, the full, full sweep of Delam with those checks. I think normally neither of these runners would do that, um, but knowing that it's loose key items, the fact that they found two of them already, I think, is just encouraging them to keep making those checks. Indeed. Some people choose to skip them, other people choose to go out of their way to get them, so it's... Uh... That's where you get a lot of divergence in these seeds. This is our first big divergence here is, uh, looks like Gurk is going to go check the Apple Kid item. He can get the cash for it. He does with selling the Brainstone. Um, the, Jeff should come with a food item as well. So we'll get a big divergence here. We'll see how, how easy these caps go down. Um, the spinning robos are, are beastly. Uh, it took a while to get there. That's going to be a long, drawn-out fight there for, for Temple before long, drawn-out fights. Mm -hmm. Along with a department store spook waiting in the wings, they get through it. Yeah, that might be... Usually Jeff comes with some type of large attack item. Uh, rocket launcher or, of the sorts, or bottle rocket of the sorts. Um, he might be trying to save that till when he gets there, because that'll likely be a one-hit kill if that's a useful item there. The Apple Kid has the zombie paper, which is of no use right now. This looks like Girk is probably going to go up and uh, do something similar. Take on the uh, police. Either Frank, yeah. Frank or police badge. Looks like he's going the Frank route. You can get like a lot of bills or something, that would be incredibly advantageous when he goes back to the police because you can see Temple is just bleeding time, the kids are crying, uh, he just can't get through these fights. And that's a real like, sad kid. Yeah, it looks like the logic would be the arcade, but Temple, if he goes back to the arcade, is going to have no problem there. So we have twin statues waiting in the arcade. So Manny Manny and Nessa's Nightmare waiting in the wings. Manny Manny only taking two hits to go down, though, so that bodes really well for uh, an early Nessa's Nightmare kill. Mm -hmm. And if Temple ends up you know, having a, an, a bad time with this spook fight, he's going to have to do those four fights all over again as well. That'll be a yep. waste of about three minutes. Watch for him to uh, just go ahead, bite the bullet, use the bottle rocket. And there Probably is the water the bills on her. Ooh, it wasn't enough. Ooh, that's rough. He's probably going to take this, the L. This is, uh... Take the L. That one's that's really going to hurt. Ooh. Not only does he that lose rough. the bottle of rocket. Um, so it... Girk's rocking about a three-minute advantage when he goes back to do... Um, he's getting water bills, so that'll be leading to a three back there, another kid, hypothetically. That'll yep. make the cops just go significantly faster. There you see kind of the uh, ten loose items, because that police badge was, I believe, was uh, in one of the trash cans. Or what, did they get it from the library? Police badge in the library shelf? They got the Franklin badge okay. from the can. And I believe the yeah, UFO that's right. That's right. In the lab. So that's not too far out of logic, but, you know. That department store spook with uh, PSI freeze, which both kids are very vulnerable to, even at a low level, as you saw, can take them out in one hit. Yep. Yeah. yeah, just coming back with a third kid. If, if it's Paula or Pooh, you're coming back with PSI capabilities, and that's just going to make everything uh, far faster. The only it's bad thing you could find here is the bear. Because even if you get Flying Man, that's still, he's he's got some, uh... I think well, he, Flying does Man, Flying Man, Man have, packs a punch. He packs a punch, and does he have freeze resistance? I know that the I, uh, teddy bears do. I feel like he does, but that's when we rely on someone in the chat to fill us in. Yep. 
tax slug coming yep. in on the road. Uh, where, where are you currently at, a tax slug? Odds coming are at you from the Grand there. Canyon, tax oh, slug are we, one. Are we still there? Or are we lost in New Mexico at this point? <laughs> This car ride here. We look at uh, you know, the track records of Temple and uh, Girk there. Each of them are, are pretty reliable weekly seed participators, and usually all of them kind of finish in the, in the upper echelon of times. Uh, it, it would be unsurprising for either of them to to win the tournament. I think we're kind of at the point where you know, all, all the runners still in the pool. No offense to our previous contestants, but um, if any of the surviving runners win the tournament, I don't think it would be like, wow, that's surprising. They're all legitimate, well-practiced, very well-versed, kind of been here since the beginning. So Gert, or uh, Temple going in, gonna take care of uh, evil Manny Manny. It should well, find zero, to buy zero some body right there. And Girk stocking up on the bottle rockets in three. Not a bad play since Jeff seems to be pretty weak right now. Yeah, this might make um, a tent play pretty attractive, even if uh, the tent is scaled out of logic. Uh, Jeff may be mm. just bottle rocket his way through. Indeed. To, to ditch the zombie paper. This is making uh, you know fly jar of fly honey now means a third sank is success or first sank is successful. I don't think they have any sank accesses right now. Nope. Now we're going to see what our kid is. Who's it going to be? Is it going to be Paula? Who? Flying man? Bear? And it's Pooh. That's going to give oop. another teleport. It's going to give a teleport location. Uh, plus another key item that he's sitting on. Yep. Key to the, the shack. shack. So... And Gurk is just going to go ahead while he's here and fly over to Winters for, or not Winters, to uh, Summers. Opposite. I wonder if he's going to pick up, yeah, opposite. Uh, I wonder if he's going to pick up the teleport there, see what's going on, or if he's just going there for the uh, teleport location would, for now. I would I would guess, um, if, if I were Gurk, I would probably not pick up that teleport location for now. You still have a few loose ends that are early right. logic to, to finish up. You don't want to necessarily... I get too far ahead. Yep. Um, but it does make sense to uh, go ahead and get into the UFO from there, especially because we cut down the, I believe the the uh, travel time was cut down there. And um, maybe not, though. Maybe it's just all in my head. But well, if you, were, you if at you least are. Earlier, you're, going to three, you didn't have to walk up to the graveyard again, and that would take right, 20, right. 30 yep, seconds. Exactly. So he's already there. Going to save a couple seconds. If this was required. That taxi cab was trying to knock the UFO out of the sky. Looks like Girk is simplifying uh, things by just getting back to the lob and get that teleport check before he gets the yep. other teleport check. Be knowing that uh, some people, at this point, some people also on. put off the uh, teleport, checking the teleport here until uh, until they have the carrot key, unless they have to. So. Be interesting to see if Temple does that or if he uh, waits. Uh, Girk stocking up on his new repel sandwiches as you can find. That's also a good strategy early on, uh, especially for them those early sags where you can't necessarily just spook the enemies from running away from you. This will allow right. uh, those early sags to just truly be walk to the boss and take care of business. Just a dollar short of one more sandwich. One dollar. Temple gonna find out that Pooh is waiting for him in the graveyard. I would assume he would go there. He's probably um, a little too afraid of going to Boogie Tent right now. Right, right. I, I always get the kid check as soon as I can. So looks like Temple is about to do the same. I didn't see what he got there. I think it might have been some money. Yep, it's definitely yeah, money. He is loaded for cash. They'll make a. 
Jeff, buying the stun gun makes him a little more offensively uh, capable as well. Girk losing his sight. Losing his mind. Gonna get some teleports from just I'm, sitting uh, there. Did uh, Temple go to Apple Kid? I feel like he did. He did not set yeah, that I don't think he did. down though. Okay. So he's he's probably feeling behind skipping maybe calculated risks on some of those things. That's an easily right. forgettable one at this point in the scene as well. Right. Looks like Girk is gonna go uh turn in the uh police badge. Have a good time. Uh, Pooh is a little bit low. I don't know which PSI Pooh started with, but just offensively they should be uh, enough. Ooh, a hieroglyph copy there uh, next to Graveyard that Temple picked up. Not sure if that's going to be relevant, but you never know. Mm -hmm. There's that random enemy movement. You see the box just kind of doing its own thing. But the presence moving like a taxi cab. Looks like Pooh's PSI is fire. Not what you want to see there. You're hoping for uh, hoping for a rocket there, but you know, beggars can't be choosers. Any any port in a storm. Pooh or uh, Temple doing the tent check. This could be an urban zombie. That's pretty spooky at this point. Uh, we're gonna have to throw some bottle rockets at it and kill the zombies with fire. Nice hit. The thunder's doing what it should do. Oh, uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be a close one, I think. Yeah, if I were be all right. if I were Temple, I would maybe focus the fire on the ant as well, just for the oh, that thunder is just doing what it needs to. Gets really, the uh, gets really, the double thunders. Really clutch kill there. The thunder did exactly what everyone wanted it to do. Book is uh, sticking Gert. around longer than anticipated. Gurk needs to, uh... Looks like Gurk is probably uh -oh. going to go down <laughs> as well. <laughs> he's got... He's relying on the thunder. And, of course, no big deal. Wow. 25% of the time, it happens every time. I know, right? I wonder if, uh... And see, was Gurk holding back on the usage of bottle rockets at that point? Or was, um... Uh, was it just low HP and he just couldn't get Jeff salvaged in time? I think he couldn't get Jeff salvaged in time. So looks like Temple's going to head over to Summers himself. You're going to pick up some mice and then likely head to North Onet. Pick up even more teleport locations. Some vanilla Skyrunner music. Not bad, not bad at all. All those sprouts running away very slowly from Girk. Nice, I mean all those all of his friends are dead, so it's it's mm. nice that um, he's not picking up any fights here. I don't know if anything else on the mountain looks like everything on the mountain is afraid. I'm more often than not north on that by the time you get there, all the enemies are are afraid. Right. Foresight opens up the mines check. It opens up the uh, moonside check. He still has the uh, magic cake teleport. He's got another key item and a teleport coming up. Uh, McGurk has nothing but open doors. He sells through the tent as well. So even though he is, he is ahead, there's certainly some... Uh, some margin for error coming up here. And if Temple mm -hmm. can find a few key items along the way, that will uh, also definitely help. And he gets the shyness book from the meteorite. By with a hieroglyph copy that Temple found earlier, uh, there might be a hunt for a hieroglyph. So if, if you know, hype just looking in the future, if desert or the pyramid is required and hieroglyph copy is in the mines, Temple is going to definitely catch up there. Indeed. And, oh, Wave Omega for Pooh. 
That is uh did Gurk, did Gurk set his exit mouse? Because he does like to exit mouse out of that game. Yeah, I believe he did. And he I'm got Wave sure Omega, but he'll probably never be able to use it. Yes. Far too much uh PP required there. <laughs> We're getting insider information in chat. There's a mole. <laughs> Girk seems to be very frustrated. So it looks like that teleports to Saturn Valley, which will save some time not having to get the zombie paper and uh, anything there. And lots of presents, so lots of opportunities for some loose key items. Oh, for two. Hawkeye, uh-oh. Oh boy. So uh, Ness, Ness Rocker there in chat asking, a temple had about a three minute ordeal with the pops that ended in a death to Rinsor Spook. Rick has not had any deaths, and so therefore is uh, ahead just based on that. Um, temple is, yeah, Temple's behind you that death. Gurk hasn't had any deaths. He's had a few clutch saves. Um, who else would PSI bomb at least? That's a nice salvation there for, right. for what he's got because he can't afford any other of those spells there with, with all the waves. Yeah, Girk, Girk pulled out a uh, clutch ending to uh, the department store spook here in the police station. It was oh, down to uh, Ness and got a, got a PSI Thunder off to kill. Having a much better time this time with uh with these robos. You got the sign banana. Where did that where did that sign banana come from? Was that a loose item? Must have been. I did not see. So we'll probably know based on what scaling they're saying, because yeah, I'm guessing we're not gonna see any enemies in their movement here with the repel sandwiches. Right. Um, if, it's the, if it's the last item in Ness's inventory, then yeah, I wonder where that sign banana came. Boogie tent? Is that? Oh, I must have missed that because Temple did the boogie tent. Um, I must have uh, missed, yeah. missed that he had the sign You're banana. Right. You're right. Thank you, Art. So he's, he's checking out the. Uh... Ooh, interesting can... play. Great play, actually, from Temple to use a brain shock on the department store spook. He is feeling just a little strange. Feeling strange, looking strange. A much easier time, round two. So many insiders in chat about what's going on in the Girk household. We're just getting a play-by-play -play on his reactions. Love it, love it, love it. So I think logically this would be Sank 2, yep, okay. The first, of course, being a uh, giant step. So we'll see if um, what approach Gert takes here. He's thinking a little bit before he dives into it. He's deciding if it was worth Ness using Thunder, and I think he he will likely go that route soon, just because uh, Rock and the Bottle Rockets are not doing much damage from death. Slug, they have found repels. They have access to Delam, and so there's our, our repel sandwich thing. Um, the desert's technically open as well right now. No one has mm -hmm. been there. Yeah, Girk found uh, found those repels and stocked up early on. A little bit of a desperation play here at this point. Uh, I suppose Pooh has the bottle of water. That would be a nice... Uh, what, oh, there we go. Just in time. Temple making the, the mountain climb there. I don't think Temple has picked up uh, return mice at this point. Girk is, nope. is almost sure to use one here. Yep, because if, uh, if the desert, if the mines are required, he can pick up two more there. Did not see what key item he got from Franklin. Or, is that his name? Franklin? Yes, the Jeff's meteorite Franklin. piece. Okay. 
So yet another teleport spot will open up uh, once he gets the Saturn Valley teleport location, which I'm now trying to remember where Temple got the Saturn Valley teleport from. He got it in uh, Summers, I believe. Yeah, that's right. He did go to Summers. So Gurk maybe just um, dotting some I's, crossing some T's, going to Giant Step just to get rid of that. Uh, knowing its first sank is, is likely not going to be an issue. A uh, protractor for good luck as well. Measure in the angles. Choosing uh, Slug saying Temple did stack up on uh, or did get mice. Um, probably choosing not to use one there. I, I don't think I would either. It's a pretty quick walk out of that cave, and there are certainly bigger spots should Monotoli or you know, Bridge Desert Great. or Lilliput. There's, there's almost every sank walk out is longer than walking out of Flyer's Cave. So, yep, yeah, looks like uh, Temple is going to go check out Foreside. Interested okay. to see if he's going to do uh, Banana or Foreside or Moonside. Moonside it I would is. Assume he, I would assume he would. Oh, he's heading to Moonside. Okay. I would have assumed that the Banana would have been a likely one just to, again, take care of that, but unless he's saving it for when he has more, uh, more options. So uh, it looks like this is in logic as well with maybe not though. Uh, it's probably in logic. Frank is tame, that's uh two sanctuaries for McGurk. Uh this This is scaled a little bit deeper than I think Temple is comfortable with. Right. And like those Temple, zoomy uh, zoomy zoomy trick or treat kids. Showing up just in time to get hit with thunder. There's also going to be some, I would assume, some repels here uh, at the shop. Looks like a version of Starman is sitting uh, waiting. Temple. A version. Which version is it going to be? You know, I would assume that he's probably hoping for a deluxe at this point. He doesn't really have a way to neutralize the shield. But it's certainly better than eating fire alphas at this point. Because if it is slightly out of logic or ahead of where uh, they're at, uh, the, the fire alphas can be absolute racks. Temple picking up the jar of fly honey there in a in a gift box. So that, that's a, that'll, that's that'll give him a sanctuary. A, a, a Gurk does not have sanctuary. that yet. A lot, a lot to take care of there. But Gurk is likely heading to Saturn Valley next to turn that meteorite piece. We get a full me. Oh, he's doing the backwards me and a moonside thing. Mm. Oh, he's doing the success, time success kid. Temple stocking up on uh, repel sandwiches, having to do his moonside menuing. He's just mash B after you successfully purchase the item. Don't do combo. So we're gonna see, is this gonna be a Starman Jr. or Starman Deluxe? Deluxe it is. There is the, the issue of the Star Storm then, which is equally annoying as the, the Alpha there, but the bottle rockets from Jeff will hopefully, and then the neutralize may, may be a thing here. Kind of banking on neutralize working? Which is going to be an issue. I'm surprised Jeff doesn't maybe doesn't have the bottle rockets. Mm, uh, nope. so, there's a beta. This might be uh, a rough fight for Pooh uh, Temple there. Just was hoping that for some reason this DX didn't come with a shield, but that does not look like it's going to be the case. <laughs> it's trying to run away. And Temple uh, trying to get the fire, trying to run away. He's just taking a death, which I think the auto well, auto fight also not be friendly. He just needs things to, to kill. 
man, there you go. So this is um, this is a, a rough seed for Temple. Some of his uh, his checks have just been slightly ahead of logic. And that's gonna that's gonna really be costly. So. Right, and, and that's what's crazy is that they're not like super super out of logic. So makes you think I might be able to do this. Yeah, or am I supposed to do this? Should I go back and try it a second time? Yeah. Not a rocket, sir. Something Kirk with the on. teleport to Lost Underworld, so that is a sanctuary as well. If he gets that jar of fly honey, which is sitting in the moonside, uh, that would be for sanks for him. Where is he going to? He's going to four side, so if he does a moonside dip and goes full moonside, uh, he's going to be in go mode. The question is, yep. though, with that, uh, that sank, is will Milky Well be <laughs> too far right. out of if logic Mi for him? If Milky Well is five or six, he's probably going to be okay, uh, boss dependent. But if it's seven or eight, he's going to be for a rough time given his lack of psychic points and everything. He's going moonside, so he, he should get that uh, jar of fly honey. No one checked the desert uh, against uh, Ness Rocker's uh, wishes there. No one's gonna check the damn lines. Great charm. If uh, if Rena's filming Girk now, they should hopefully get some footage of him opening up that fly honey. Right, really right. Make, the reaction really making him wonder now, like, oh man. Because there's nothing, nothing better than hitting that go mode item. But also now the unknown of, I don't think I'm supposed to be here. Now, if Fly Honey is in the mines, then, then we're perfectly safe and everything's okay. But if it was something like uh, Hieroglyph Copy in the mines, then that means I think all signs are pointing to going through the pyramid first to get whatever it is there. Oh, I thought Hawkeye Temple was going to hit up the Hitman there for a second. <laughs> Looks like he's going to the desert, though. All right, we might get our minds check. The Shyness book in Hawkeye, um, I would go copy in the desert. I believe Logic then says, hey, you're going Pyramid, Dungeon Man, right. Deep Darkness, and Lumine is your fourth in Logic. Sarah's coming into us live at 5 a.m. from across the pond. Either they've woken up really early or they're staying up extra late. Down goes Starman uh, Deluxe. Yeah, oh, I missed the mines item. I missed it. I but missed he's it walking well. away. I was too busy watching the uh, bottle rockets. Going uh, because since Girk is hitting that Starman with uh, faster Jeff, those bottle rockets are successful. No, oh, Temple did have the return mice. Interesting. Did not see him go pick those up. So the yogurt dispenser there. Is it okay? Yogurt dispenser there, Moonside. We are. We're not going to see that get turned in soon. Right. He's going to the underworld to do a sank. He's probably going to go then check up and. Uh, that cat saying hieroglyph was in the mines, so that's, that's oh, bad interesting. news for Temple. Might also be bad news for Girk because Temple, right. is, Temple doesn't have to do the mines. Uh, but if Girk goes into a seventh or eighth sank, it could be eight. There's there's a good chance that that is eight in logic at this point. Yeah, that's pretty far away. But I guess the good thing is he'll know pretty quickly once he's in Belch Base. Yeah, if he repels sandwiches, though, he might, I guess, the belch base guardian, if it shows up with his enemy shuffle. Because those belch base, uh, the, the, the slimy little piles there, not pellable. Mm -hmm. um, they don't always show up with the enemy shuffle. So if they're there, he'll figure out early on if facing how strong they are. Otherwise, he might not find out until they get to the boss of belch base. In worst case scenario. And by then, are you going to be too pig-headed to go back and say, well, I better go check the damn right. line? Um, I just so don't think at that point, sink. Girk would be so turned off going to the mines, deep darkness, that route. You're almost better off just doing a little bit of leveling up in Belch Base at that point. I would assume that, you know, having 
PSI bomb is going to make things accessible. Yeah, especially with the uh, butterfly room. Third sank there in uh, Fire Spring. Everdread not doing a whole lot. He's, he's easy no matter where he's at, just with how uh, single attacks only, you can just stay ahead of him. Did Gurk save one of his mice for this? Time? This would be a downside of just burning one to get through a uh, liar attack during this tunnel. Boogie Tent, not going down without a fight, but takes that 4 HP hit from Ness. Ness is trying to distract it by throwing his slippers at the Boogie Tent. <laughs> My favorite line in the game. <laughs> Gurk having to, to hoof it all the way out. Probably regretting showing off his mouse tech there. Right. Saving those you 10 know, seconds coming out of... Uh, Liar's of Tunnel. To Liar's House. A 30 second walk later on. Right. Not checking any of those presents, knowing that he is in go mode. Or really, only a loose carrot key would maybe be better at this point. Right. Ding. They're, uh, they almost high five there. Eager to see what this belch base looks like. Uh, you know, this is kind of one where you think it's the kind of the item pickup that I say, I say wins a seed, or it could also be the key item whose item pickup that just forces you in a corner and just says, Nope, I'm going this route because I don't want to go the other way. Right. I don't think he's used his repels yet. I'm only seeing frogs there, which is a pretty good sign at this point. Plus with Bomb Beta, that's going to make everything far better. Although I suppose this is scaled to the zombie paper, which they have. Belch base might be something totally different. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It could be scaled very differently. Once you get inside, <laughs> it's anyone's game. But even still, Getting if it's scaled deep, Thunder, Thunder Beta is going to be... It's going to be helpful. Um, that, that's going to just going to be what he rides on the rest of the seed. Um, we're just, we're all thinking poo at this point. It's in his hands. Yep. So Arachnid, so this is probably not scaled super, super high. No, this, this may be some of ones a fifth, like maybe the hieroglyph copy was sitting in the, uh, why he may have been sitting in Pyramid. Using the sandwiches, he's just going to work his way all the way through. It's all right, don't worry, guys. My underwear has been delivered. I know everyone was worried about that. We just want the best for you, Crimson. <laughs> See the uh, the mono mole, you know, he, he may check and see, hey, have any of my kids learned paralysis along the way? Right. Uh, he's, he's gonna check who I'm sure. Who's nice? Says, oh, you're you're my offense. We're just gonna bomb you. Right. Oop, oop. You are the offense. There it goes. And Ness and Jeff are doing ninety and seventy on their uh, on their attacks. This is a. This is looking like it's going to be a comfortable, comfortable Girk win. Again, who knows? He's got the sandwiches. He's going to get to Moon or Badge Camp pretty quick. He will likely be coming in around three forty-four minutes. Uh, so Temple's got to we put pedal to the metal and, and try to die less at this point. Right. Not having good luck getting out of here though. Ooh, 
be interesting you know, if this is fourth saying, like, if hieroglyph copy was in the pyramid, um, would this be considered fourth logically then, or would they have yep. wanted, um, would they have wanted you to go to Lumine as the fourth? Right. It was just, this fourth. was fourth, so. Was, okay, so I would guess that that jar of fly honey would have been sitting on the pyramid ledge. We might be right. able to see that. Right. And now everyone's seen the uh, the power of the loose key items. Saved him a bit of time there. Madcat is calling Frank being the boss, um, which is fine, but I'm pretty sure we've already seen a Frank. I could be wrong. Hmm. I don't know. Was it was Frank the uh, the boss of Fire Spring? I don't think so. Well, we we might be finding out soon with Temple. Can't remember who was who was what. Yeah, Carbon Dog. At this point, that's an absolute madness there on Girk's screen with these enemies in the way of motion. But look at those buffalo skin. Oh, it was Everdrill, so I got that mixed up there. I'll go ahead and make a, a prediction of. Let's go. Hey, a trillion notch with some with some buddies who just have some obnoxious new tendencies. Although Rocket, or Bomb Beta, makes any type of enemy and his partners much simpler. Sarah just wants the world to burn with the Carbon Dog guess. Irk with a teleport strat that I just don't know yet. I, I'm afraid to use that. I gotta rewatch the VOD there and just see how he sets that one up. I usually walk down the ladder and continue from there. Surprise that Girk is doing some some shopping at this point um you know you got you got bomb beta you might as well just go for it yeah picking up some psi caramels though not a bad call great food lunch just saying hey poo you, you are my ride or die <laughs> getting the butt kicked into the brown theme Clicky clack of my keyboard. Yeah. Saving five. I think a minimum repel sandwich run through Magic Hand. I think it's three if you space them out perfectly and don't diverge. But Kirk has yep. five. He's gonna be all right. With three, yep. a three kid train, he will likely have no issue dodging uh, Sea of Eden enemies. What's a corn bone? No. no we got a maybe, storm maybe residing himself there to, to like, yep, I'm probably probably not winning this one right now, so we're gonna send our corn bone meme. And it's Master Barf. This should be a a simple by the books demolition here. Girk likely coming through at about a 42 minute mark. Not a whole lot can go wrong with uh, with this. Who is at least going to be puking before he throws a bomb that way? He's, uh, he's feeling nauseous because he doesn't like that gross out humor. That's all. Not a fan. And that'll, that'll be it, so... Man, can even with a, a five-minute tempo boost there, it, it's not going to happen. Girk with a fairly flawless seed uh, at that point. No deaths. Um, not a whole lot of long dead checks. Uh, found the same key loose items that Temple did. Avoided a desert check. Uh, Temple with a really tough to beat time for that seed. Or not Temple, uh, Girk with a really tough to beat time. Mick, 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 Dirk. With so the dub. Missed. So 
So McGurk moving on to uh, face the winner of Chargles himself and Pink Panther. Oh man. Wow. Temple goes down to the uh, winner of Fly Eagles Fly and Static Pulse. And looking at you know, I, I watched Fly Eagle or Pink Panther set a, a a tournament record in his previous match. I'm watching Girk with a with a flawless run. The uh, the competition gap is, is is narrow. You know, the number one seed does not mean uh, what it has in the past. And so I think uh, you right. know, we're seeing the a number four seed throw the best one, number nine seed set a record there. So it's it's why they play the games, you know. Seating is just getting you a, getting you a seat at the table. Uh, now you got to play your cards. We got Are McGurk we get... coming in. He's so coming welcome, in hot. Welcome, Mick, 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 Girk. Congrats, GG, on the uh, the win. What did you think? What did you think of your loose items? Audio is not right again. Can you hear us? Oh, my Gurk. Okay. Can you can hear me? I can hear you. Yeah, yeah I just. Yeah, uh, we can hear you. I have to always switch my inputs and stuff, so. It's all good. Yeah, tell us uh, tell us your thoughts on that. Uh, loose key items play a factor at all in your mind? I am guessing, obviously, the fly hunting kid. And yeah, we we're. Certainly the UFO engine? Yeah, I'm not sure where the UFO engine was, like, in logic. The uh, you didn't check the mines, did you? No. So no, it's mines looking like the for me to do. yeah, the the mines had the hieroglyph copy which you found loose. Um, so we're thinking that the hieroglyph copy was uh, was possibly leading to that jar of fly honey in order to make it forth logically. We were kind of afraid that the fly honey yep. would lead to like a seven or eight scaled, possibly eight scaled uh, belch base and milky well. There'd just be no way to tell. Right. Until you saw that first belch base enemy, the gatekeeper there. So yeah, in order for that to be really four, they saw what was coming there. Yep. Um, otherwise, I think it looks like Lumine Hole probably would have been fifth, um, picking up some other things along the way. I didn't see in the end credits what was where, so that would have been helpful, I suppose. Yeah, I wasn't. Um, I wasn't looking at it either. <laughs> that's okay. I'll just rewatch the VOD to, to double check. No. We'll see it on temples, I'm sure. But Jeff remembered to brush his teeth. That's what's important. <laughs> yeah, that was uh, when I think that was when I was facing Boogie Tent, and we didn't really have weapons per se. <laughs> yep. But hey, that's that's what's really important. Much. Dental hygiene is important these days. Yeah, you had um, the the big difference with you and Temple around. He's just gearing up to go to Magic Camp, so he's probably gonna finish about seven minutes behind you. He fought through all the whirling robos to get to department store spook. Uh, used his bottle rocket, and it wasn't enough to get through. And so and that was a, 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 for it a huge, he did not have poo. He went there no. before you did. Uh, so that was a huge time loss there. He also went moonside before you and mm -hmm. was not equipped that enough to deal with that time. as well. No. <laughs> so just kind of those, you know, two checks that you you could have done but you didn't do like they were there um he just he went and got sucked in a bit it was kind of that dangerous thing where you couldn't tell right away that you weren't supposed to be there um but it was just a, a, a slow slow bleed well i very nearly did not defeat the spook either yeah that was a great thunder yeah. right there yeah uh, thunder's coming in clutch <laughs> it would have been a bad day and your thunder did well on the uh, Titanic ant as well. He had, he had lots of options, but your thunder chose the ant. Yeah, right. That was good too. There was about probably the 20, 25 minute mark. I was commenting on how you had about seven different options to go to at one point. Like you, <laughs> you picked a teleport <laughs> spots on that hill. You had summers and a magic cake. You had you had probably five or six loose threads that you could have taken care of uh do you have to recall kind of that moment i'm trying to remember exactly where it was but uh we also heard from one of your your spawn at home that you were feeling quite frustrated at the seat or you were looking agitated with all the options um <laughs> wife not spawn but yeah 
<laughs> Why? Okay. Yeah. She, uh, well, yeah, I just forehead. I think I palmed myself, <laughs> face palmed when I went and got both wave, wave gamma and wave omega, which who would never be able to use. Well, you're wrong because Temple just used a wave gamma there on Barf. So yeah. he got there. And I think it's one that he'll probably supplement it with some bombs and it should be enough to, or close to enough to get through. Yep. Looks like that's yeah, what's was, happening. I was pretty surprised to see Omega, but I guess I really only had. Well, I don't know. I mean, at the time, I still had Saturn Valley teleport. Uh, the Saturn meteorite Valley piece was an teleport. option there. Right. You, had, you could have gone to check the mines. Yeah. Um, you had your yogurt dispensers. I mean, you had options. I suppose the UFO engine could have been on yogurt dispenser slot there, Monotoli or Paula. That's right. where Paula was. And that would have then fit the logic for the UFO engine. So um, you each got the same key items, you know, Franklin badge early. I'm sure you thought, hey, that's great. And then it turned out to not be a factor at all. Don't, yeah, don't recall seeing any lightning. We'll check through a uh, temple spoilers here to see where those were, at least in the logic. The fly honey, I think, and the UFO engine were the ones of, of greatest importance this scene. Yeah, it seems like with the loose items, the the most fortunate way to get them is going to be when you only have a couple of checks. Uh, Monotoli had the diamond that was holding Paula. Yep. Venus had the UFO engine, so there it was in, in logic there. Yeah, I'm just Ever thinking... Had the... Oh, wow. So that's, oh, that's wow. So you get Paula at Monotoli. Um, Monotoli gives you the diamond. The diamond goes to uh, Venus. Venus gives you the UFO engine. That covers that. And Pyramid had carrot key. Yeah, so Paula, you take her to Tucson. Everdread slot gave you Tiny Ruby. You go back to Summer, it's going to Tiny Ruby for Fly Hunt. So significant <laughs> time saves there with the UFO engine and Fly Honey. But again, right. as you both got them, it wasn't necessarily an advantage of one person or another. You just you each kept that, that, that advantage there. Yeah, I mean, the, the Fly Honey was obviously right on the way. I don't think anybody would ever miss that. Can't you know exactly where UFO engine was, but it was in a combination of this. Yeah, and did you get a hieroglyph copy? I don't have I don't it. I believe marked. you did. That was um, immediately leaving the two or three graveyard to the right there. Yep. Um, you never. Yeah, because you you, you didn't you, you skipped going out of the graveyard because you just went straight to to Summers from there. Oh yeah, yeah. I never went out of the graveyard. That's true. Yeah, I took Wait. the chance that Summers would just would be required um, obviously if it was leading to like seven it was towards the end you know it would be a wasted cutscene but it worked out the temple's finished up wondering if he's going to uh join us here Do, 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 do. Yep, temple is good, so nice uh fairly zoomy seed. Forty seven or yeah. forty one minutes is uh is not bad. Yeah, but two deaths. That uh <laughs> that the success kit difference. backwards, dick sickus. Yeah, as I put it in, I realized that <laughs> might be a, a problem, but uh, I promise I was sticking with the theme. It wasn't supposed to be offensive. <laughs> we believe you. We believe you. So, GG's to McGurk, who moves on to uh, again, gets the winner of uh, who is it? Pink Panther and Chargles, and Temple will go into the uh, Manny Manny Bracket to face the winner of Fly Eagles Fly and Static Pulse. So uh, we look forward to those, of course. Um, we got a couple races tomorrow. You got yours truly, Crimson Green, going up against uh, Unknown, I believe, is my opponent. That's going to be at uh, 1 p.m. Eastern. So, uh, you know, if you get some time from, from work, from people's busy schedules, check us out. I believe we're going to have a restream. If not, uh, follow us and uh, get the updates there. And then 
later that night, later tomorrow night. So it's 6 p.m. Pacific, which if my math is right is 9 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. Central. Uh, we're going to have Jay Tolmar, who is the uh, creator of all things, uh, at least in terms of PK Scramble, versus Sarah, a.k.a. I am bad at naming things. So um, stay tuned for tomorrow. Um, any closing comments? Charles, McGurk, anything? Well, there's a good chance I'll be seeing you, Gurk. I want you. <laughs> Good luck to everybody running. Thanks for doing this. Everyone wants a piece of Gurk. Watch out what's your <laughs> wish for. I need to go around. All right. All right, Gurk. We'll, we'll check you later. All right. All right, everyone. So we're going to raid someone. I don't know if there's who we're going to raid. Let me see if I can find someone doing some PK scramble or at minimum some Earthbound. Um, see you in about. Um, Let's see, any any scramblers out there? No, 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 no. Nope, 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 nope. Might just have to let it linger Earthbound. and die. Lots of people streaming Earthbound, but no one. And end of this. Yep, yep, that's what it looks like. We're going to head to Desert Away, who is uh, a big part of our community, doing some... Uh, oh, yeah, a game called Earthbound, which you may or may not have A of. game called Earthbound. Mother 2, actually. Uh, boogie percent. So, stop over, say hi, give her a follow, give her a shout, tell her Earthbound uh, Super Series is where we're coming from. So, we will see you guys next time. What's Mother 2? Mother 2! Japanese version of Earthbound itself. So, go say hey. And we'll see you guys next time tomorrow